Agent 007 James Bond. Espionage, gadgetry, and romance are all part of a day for this international man of mystery. He and his films have endured for so long, so with the latest coming out this month, I decided to take a look at the various Bond themes over the ye- Oh, wait. No, never mind. The, the new Bond movie got pushed back to later this year because of the, the coronavirus. Uh, so that that wouldn't be that wouldn't be relevant. Um. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, let's do this. Festival season is fast approaching, but will you be taking care of your health, specifically your ears? Today, let's examine hearing loss and how you can. Wait, no, that that won't work either. So many festivals this year got canceled or postponed because of the virus. Uh. Okay. Okay. What else? What else? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Uh, uh, okay. Glee was one of the biggest TV shows of the early 2000s, but what you may not know is that its impact on the music industry was here. Oh, don't tell me the virus got Glee too. This is insane. All of the things that I want to talk about either aren't ready for a video yet or got delayed or canceled because of the coronavirus. What on earth am I going to make a video about? Okay, no, 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 no. I, I can think of something. I can think of something. There's that expression in writing, you know, uh, 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 write what you know. So what have I been doing recently that I could make a video on? Screw it! It's staggering to think that less than two decades ago, K.K. Slider came into our lives and invented so many things. Dogs didn't exist before him. Guitars, no way friends. Music, twas non-existent. Now I know some of you might disagree. You'll say, that's not true, Mike. Crazy Frog invented music in 2005. Wrong. KK made his debut as early as 2001, so I'm sorry to say, but Crazy Frog was ripping off KK Slider. I, I know, I know, it hurts me to say that, but it's true. So it's time we finally give KK the credit he deserves. KK Slider is a musician, a poet, and a poster dog for a life of peace. Let's tackle each aspect of his brilliance. First, the music. Very few artists have been able to move gracefully between genres like my man KK. With just a guitar and his smooth baritone bark, he's dipped his paws into salsa, funk, jazz, metal, flamenco, disco, and even sacred music. No matter the genre, KK's signature compositional techniques can often be found. His songs feature major seven chords, light chromaticism, secondary dominance, all to deny listeners the standard tonal resolution they expect until he finally gives us that strong 5-1 progression. <laughs> Not to mention, of course, his gift for melody, which brings us to his way with words. As they say, a good sentence is never done, but KK stanzas pack so much oomph in such small packages. Here's an example from his smash hit, KK Love Song. Now, o me, que o me, que o, que me, que o, o me, 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 o me, me, que o, na. Now we have to examine this deeper. This first stanza is of course sentimental to a fault, just like all great love songs are. But in the second line, KK's outlook turns darker and more bittersweet. It's a precarious tightrope to walk, and KK does cartwheels on it. It's as Shakespeare said, if music be the food of love, o me, me, que o, na. Finally, his persona. KK is the original free spirit. He appears on his own accord, in coffee shops, in public squares, even in dark rooms with one light, or empty voids with credits as musicians are known to frequent. He espouses the virtues of being a rolling stone, going where the wind takes him, and living with no regrets. KK has brought about nothing but peace and goodwill towards all who will listen. In conclusion, K.K. Slider is the defining musical voice of our time and the greatest musician who ever lived, and I will not be reading the comments for this video, and goodbye. <laughs>
K.K. Slider's music is actually part of an entire video game franchise with other non-K.K. music. Nintendo's Animal Crossing released on the GameCube in Japan in 2001, with its American debut the next year. It was created by Katsuya Iguchi, and like many of Nintendo's franchises, its origin came from personal experience. To quote, Animal Crossing features three themes, family, friendship, and community. But the reason I wanted to investigate them was a result of being so lonely when I arrived in Kyoto. And when I moved there, I left my family and friends behind. In doing so, I realized that being close to them, being able to spend time with them, talk to them, play with them, was such a great, important thing. I wondered for a long time if there would be a way to recreate that feeling, and that was the impetus behind the original Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is the video game equivalent of a Gucci's experience. You move to a town with nothing but the clothes on your person and a house loan from this thieving capitalist raccoon. From there, you make money by fishing, catching bugs, selling fossils, and you use it to pay off loans, buy things to decorate your house, and that's it. Later games have expounded upon that with different concepts and additions, a city and city folk, being the mayor in New Leaf, having your own island in the recently released New Horizons. They've also allowed you to interact with other players and their towns, but that main gameplay loop with its in-game clock that matches real-world time has always stayed the same. As such, it's one of the most easygoing and relaxing games you can play, as very few things in the game can cause any stress. It's basically wasps, tarantulas, and these stupid eggs. I just want to catch a fish! I don't need any eggs, God damn you, Zipper! What are you hiding under there? Let me see it, let me peek into your world! A big part of the series' signature serenity has been its music. The composers for New Horizons, led by sound director, prolific Nintendo composer, and K.K. Slider's namesake, Kazumi Totaka, they managed to pull off a difficult balance. Their music works perfectly fine as background music as you go about your day, but if you pay attention, it also holds up as genuinely well-made music. Most of these tunes don't have a tempo over 120 beats per minute, since they're not meant to get your heart racing, aside from a few instances. The chords rarely rely on strong resolutions, instead making use of plagal cadences, chord extensions. The composers only typically use dominant cadences at the end of phrases, at which point the progression fully loops. The melodies move in equal amounts, steps, and leaps, but there's rarely any syncopation or crazy riffs. Some tunes even borrow music musical elements from the main theme. Moreover, the instrumentation isn't necessarily sparse, but it is reserved. Percussion rarely goes beyond a kick, snare, and hi-hat, whether it has a natural sound or it's from a drum machine. You might even be so lucky as to hear a bongo or a shaker. The other mainstays include acoustic guitar, upright bass, electric keys, a synth playing the melody, maybe a piano. Other occasional examples include steel drums when it rains, a trumpet and ukulele are featured on New Horizons' main theme, but for the most part, that's it. Because of that scaled back approach, the main background tunes in the game take this impressionist turn, where each hour can invoke different emotions based on what the hour is. I'd like to give my impressions of some tunes, but it's entirely possible you'll come away with different takes. 8am has this engaging rhythm and a killer snare tone. It makes me think, I'm up, I'm ready to seize the day, let's go hit rocks a bunch. a.m. features a fuller sounding production with a laid back tempo. In my head, this makes sense with the time. You know, 11 a.m., the day has fully started, everyone's in their morning groove. p.m. is the funkiest, most supreme bop in the game. It makes me think, oh yeah, the workday's done, time to loosen the collar and prep for the nighttime. Wow. 
3 a.m. on the opposite end is the weirdest track. It's sparse and revolves around this off-kilter melody handed off between bass, horn, and synth. It's like the game saying, you freaking weirdo, what are you doing up so late? Let's get freaky in here. <laughs> Other areas in the game have their own themes. The storefronts are lively and chipper. Blathers Museum is dignified and worldly. The Mystery Islands have the most tropical tunes in the game. Different events have their own themes, such as the recent fishing tourney and bunny day event. And the resident services building is delightfully eager, as is Tom Nook as he watches you hand over your hard-earned bells to pay off a series of never-ending loans. Oh, hi, Isabel. <laughs> I think this is usually the part of these videos where I try to summarize everything and get some kind of deeper meaning, but I don't know if that's the approach I want to take here. Since New Horizons release, plenty of people have taken to the internet to share their islands, complain about their neighbors, write pieces on Tom Nook's never-ending quest in the pursuit of profit, and there have also been people sharing how the game has helped with their mental health. And considering the worldwide duress we are all currently under, any sort of mental ease is certainly welcome. For me personally, this game has been such a welcome respite. To have a way to practice certain activities that I can't do now, like going outside for extended periods of time, or standing within six feet of some Someone helps me cope with our current reality. Moreover, it's good to have a reminder of the good that can be achieved when people, plus animals in this case, come together, a reminder of the virtues of community and camaraderie. Even KK, the ultimate free spirit, tells you that being completely on your own is, quote, Squaresville. <laughs> Way. So with this video, I just wanted to take it easy and celebrate a game and soundtrack that have allowed me and so many other people to decompress over the past few weeks. A game that reminds me that things will be better and time will pass in its own slow and painful way, but we can control our actions in the present. And that means taking care of ourselves, keeping in touch with friends, helping those who are in need, and catching a fish every now and then. God damn it, zipper. <laughs> <laughs>